Hey there everyone, Hitesh here back again with another video. And in this video, I want to share an exciting incident with you. And this incident is related to Android as well as the attitude towards learning programming. Stay tuned and let's get started. I'm holding on, if almost gone, someday I know I finally make it. Through if you have been following me on my YouTube channel, you obviously know that I have a theory in life. There are always two kind of people in this world, the zeros and the ones. Zeros are always about complaining about the things. Hey, this is going bad in country, this is going bad in programming and all such things. And there are just ones who take the stance and just say, hey, it's not about complaining, it's about coming up with the solution. So somehow we're gonna deal with situation and we're gonna fight with that. And there's no other kind of people, just zeros and ones, that's it. Exactly same kind of people I have found again on the very first gen of 2018. So first, let me give you the context of this story. I do have an Android course in which I teach people how to make 10 Android apps. Now nine of, out of these 10 apps are completely done. One of that app, is not completely done and that was a deliberate decision that I took. Now that app is tic-tac-toe app. Now in that app I have taught how you can have buttons and how you can change uh, the picture on that buttons by crosses and zero when somebody clicks on it and how you can design things like when somebody again cl click on that that picture doesn't change and all these logics. But deliberately I have left out one thing in that that is winning logic. Now in that app section, I have told the students that, hey, I'm deliberately leaving out the winning logic here, but I'm gonna tell you how you can do that. You can always store all the winning combination in an array and can check after every button press that, hey, uh, whether, the, whether the user has got a winning logic or not, or winning situation or not. Now again, I do understand that was not easy to perform, but somehow I believe that too much of the spoon feeding is not good. If, if somehow I'm teaching you the nine apps, you should be able to dig around on Stack Overflow, apply your own logics and could have come up with that one logic. So deliberately, I left out there. Now, I do believe that, yes, people will be blaming me a lot, will be saying a lot of bad words because I left out that really interesting part there. I did that deliberately here. And the consequences came out like right and wrong just today itself again. So in the morning, like around eight o'clock, one student came on my Facebook page and say, hey Hitesh, I liked your course, enjoyed a lot, but I wish really if you could have said that, hey, this is the winning logic and you could have made a video about winning logic as well, it could have been a lot more better. I can only give like uh, out of 10, I can give you only eight stars because two stars are missing because you didn't give us the logic of winning. Uh, I hope you can make another video and can just share with us. And on the exact same day around 10 o'clock today in the morning, one student, Shoaib, came to me and said, Hey Hitesh, I am really enjoying your videos. Your, vi your videos always help us to push ourselves beyond the limits and make us ready for the world and actual programming situation. He came up with a solution of that tic-tac-toe game. Now he's not the first student who came up with the solution of that tic-tac-toe game. Previously also a lot of students approached me and have sent me this GitHub link that hey we came up with the solution, we feel so happy that we did it on our own. It takes us, uh, it took us weeks or sometimes months to come up with a solution but finally we did it. I am a strong believer that at initial stage when somebody is getting started he needs all the resources in the world best courses, best mentors, maybe books, online courses, offline courses, whatever he can get his hand. But again, uh, think about it. Once you have got that beginner phase over, there will be situation when a problem will be thrown at you. If you'll ask me, hey Hitesh, name the programming to something else if you can, without even a blink of eye, I would say problems. You cannot run away with these problems, whether you are a company, beginner or an experience, problems are gonna be there in programming. So either you can just sit around and complain about them or you can just look around to find a solution and don't just give up until you found a solution. This guy, Shoaib, is a living inspiration to many such people who just says, hey, there is a problem. 
Shoaib is a kind of guy who just open-heartedly says, hey, there's a problem, bring it on to me, I'm gonna deal with it. Do you really think that within like days he could have come up with this solution? No, not at all. He probably might have spent weeks or maybe months in coming up with this solution. It takes a lot of efforts to find such solutions. But do you know what he has got with this? He got a feeling that yes, I can do this, I can do this kind of solution. No matter what kind of problem is, I can take it down. I'm not even naming the person who came up with the complaint that, hey, you could have found the solution and all these things. In fact, I'm not even mad at him. Some of you might be thinking, hey, I'm too much mad on this first student and not on the second student. No, I'm not at all mad, even the slightest one on this first student. The problem is he's not on the right track. And somehow I believe that it's my duty to bring him on the right track instead of getting mad at him. If I'll get mad at him, it's it's no point, it's of no use. Instead, I have discussed with him that, hey, uh, it's not about I cannot provide you a solution. It would take me just like 15 minutes or 20 minutes to record a video and provide you a solution. But I don't want to do that. I want you to just work a little bit more harder on this and come up with the solution. I would be really happy to check your solution. I'll also link down below the Shoaib's solution on the GitHub link so that you can read the solution and can find out with other things. Now, yes, this is one of the many ways by which you can solve this problem, but there are hundreds of others. So come up with your own solution. Life will always give you a lemon and you know what to do with it. Either you can complain about it or you can come up with something better. I can understand. You have hopes. You want to build an amazing website. You want to build an awesome Android app or iOS app. You have a lot of pressure from the situation, but hey, we all are dealing with these situations. It's not just you, it's the entire world. So whenever the next time the problems comes to you, just open your heart and just say, bring it on. Do you really know? The thing that is stopping you, the bridge is just that problem. Beyond that problem, the world is amazing. So don't just wait, get onto your computer, face your problem and don't give up Sometimes until you are like done. Keep it.